I'm Doug. I'm Jeremy, and we're the Civil Disobedience. You're watching us right now on Amped Up TV, and you think we're not watching you, but I can see you. Put some pants on. Oh, heck. I can see you too. You got pants on. That's too bad. All right. All right, hi, this is Sarah for Amped Up TV. I'm with some of the civil disobedience, and they are? I'm Jeremy. I'm Doug Darling. I play bass. You're supposed to see your oh, instrument. Oh, sorry. I play bass. I, uh, I sing and play guitar, gang. Yeah. All right. Now, for those of us who don't know, how did the band come about? Oh, no. <laughs> we all played music, and we were really lonely, and we decided to get together and play music together. I don't know. Anything how else? Did, how did you come about? Let's give the real answer now. Okay. okay uh, no, we've been, uh, we've been, well, at least uh, myself and Jeremy and John have been uh, some form of a band for like the last eight, nine years. And this is the newest installation called Civil Disobedience. We used to be uh, Forgetful Jones before that, and the High, and the Velvet Pill before that. And uh, yeah, um, actually, we were all playing in different groups, kind of knew each other because it's a pretty tight music scene. And, um, yeah, just all kind of I'm too long. Am I past the no, time no, requirements? No, not too long. You're just okay. long enough. <laughs> it, it'll get edited if you go too long. We don't have any of the music like the Oscars. It'll get edited anyway. Trust me. <laughs> but yeah, no, we just you know we knew each other um, and uh, basically decided to start jamming a little bit together and it worked out. And there you go. Ta-da! There we are now. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, how do you describe your music? We know about the whole unicorn in the ear, but how, how else? Ear. Yes, oh, yeah, from yeah. your MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I read that stuff and I'm drunk and I have no... I know what you mean, though. It, sound, it feels like getting humped in the ear by a unicorn. Yeah, it's true. That's how I would describe That's how I did describe it, and I'm going to stick to it for sure. All right, so then maybe to make it easier, how about some influences on the band? Uh, we have no influences at all. We're completely unique. We don't sound like any other band. That's why we have uh, two guitars, a bass, and drums, and singers. We're because we are completely unique. Yeah, no so just, yeah, no. just a real rock everything, band? Everything. Uh, my favorite band is Tool. They kick my ass completely. Um, but yeah, we're influenced by just rock. Oh, lots of other stuff too. Like I'm really influenced by Ani DeFranco. Which might sound really stupid, but I don't care, and I'll fight you. <laughs> I'm, not just not, not I'm not gonna fight you, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're kind of all over the place when it comes to our influences, which makes it uh, difficult and easy at the same time. Or uh, um, I'm all over from classical to mainly, folk mainly to heavy Tiny metal. Tim, though, that guy with the ukulele. Man, guy, is he good? Tulips oh. guy. I hear a lot of Tiny Tim in everything you do, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. The hell's Tiny Tim? The tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> oh, yeah. That guy, man. Yeah, he's good. Yes, everything is true there now. <laughs> Where were you the first time you heard it? <laughs> I was in my sensory deprivation tank. Which, uh, it makes no sense because I wasn't actually depriving myself of Freak 107. But <laughs> I like to hang out there. No, I don't remember at all. I think Maybe I, in the car. I don't really listen to the radio, so probably in the car. Yeah. yeah. I was in the car. There's something really cool about hearing your own uh, music. You've heard it probably about a million times by the time it hits radio just from recording it. And, uh, and basically fulfilling your ego and going, ah, I'm awesome. But when you hear it on the radio, maybe it's just the way, maybe it's uh, how you're hearing it or also the extra, um, what is it? Like je ne sais quoi. The je ne sais quoi that it, uh, the radio adds, but it's it's pretty cool. It's actually really cool to hear it. Yeah. And it'd just be driving, especially when it's in passing, like it comes after another song and you're like, actually at first you think you recognize it from like, who is, who, uh, oh! Totally, that's us, what? yeah. It happened to me one time, I had no idea for about 30 seconds. <laughs> I knew I recognized it and I was like, what song is this? I know it sucks, but I can't remember, oh, it's us, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. And, and when you realize, I mean, it, when you realize awesome. it really sucked, then yeah. you knew it was us, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 
All right, so now after that single, are we going to release another one? Maybe CD Absolutely. or? Absolutely. Well, we've got, uh, we're recording, uh, we're finishing up. We've recorded four songs so far. We're doing seven more. We're going to put out an album probably late June, early July. And we're going to sell the crap out of it. Yeah, we're going to move units like a, like a bunch of good capitalists. That's what we're going to do. So then a lot more shows here. Oh, tons more shows. This is a great place to play, but all over the place. We're playing at uh, Academy on Osborne, like the old free house. A uh, lot, park a lot theater. of venues. Yeah, Park Theater, MTS Center, probably. I don't know. <laughs> we played yeah. the last three weekends here, and um, it's actually really cool too because we're always playing with a kind of different comb combination of about ten or so bands that come here. I'd say eleven. And, uh, yeah, I stand corrected. Yeah, you do. Um, you lean corrected. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God, dude! I've been drinking. Come yeah, on. yes, you sure have. Uh, there's 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 a pretty good community going on right now at the at um, with the kind of hard rock scene that's going on, and uh, instead of everyone competing with each other, um, there's a real camaraderie. And so, for instance, we played with Coda for the last three shows, and there's always different other bands that are joining on. We play with Dreadnought next week, or sorry, two weeks from now, uh, and everyone's really supporting each other instead of trying to slam each other down and trying to step on them and get above and stuff like that. Well, not to provoke you even more, but I noticed while you were on stage that you like to pick fights. Anything oh, really behind that? Yeah. I've actually never been in a fight in my life, and I would love to get in a fight. Just to, I know I would get my ass completely handed to me, but it would be cool to, uh, to find out what it feels like to get beat up, you know? Because I, I, really, I really do antagonize people a lot. Uh, I also do like a solo comedy thing where I just tell people off all the time and I've never been beat up. So I'm just waiting sort of for the inevitable, you know, it's going to happen eventually and it's going to be great. Where do you see yourself in the future, say five, ten years? What? Sorry? I see myself in a flying car with remote control socks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now how about more music wise? Uh, Come on, give her a real answer, <laughs> just once. Okay, here's She's the thing. trying so um, hard. If all goes according to plan, which is, I mean, the music industry is so incredibly, stupidly uh, harsh and, and hard to succeed in. Our plan is to dominate the world, like, just to, to completely dominate the world with our music. We want to be really successful and make a living doing it. Uh, but we, if, if everything goes according to our plan, which is incredibly optimistic and whatever, then, then we'll be doing this for a living. This is what we love to do. So. Where can we find you? Uh, we're on the interweb at uh, myspace.com slash the civil disobedience band and it's disobedience ENTS because we're all like sneaky <laughs> we also have a Facebook page so I believe if you just hit in the search civil disobedience and okay and now it's spelled uh, disobedience is D-I-S uh, O-B-E-I-E-N-T-S did I get it right? I don't know I just told them that if I pulled out my phone and I searched that would I find it? It actually Could isn't be. a word that exists. I dare you. That'd be, that'd be interesting. Maybe, if maybe you type not. it in word, it'll actually a little uh, red line. Will yeah, come it's not a real word. We made it up. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that'll be it for me. Just thank you to the dis wow. civil disobedience. Yes, thank that you. is you. Thank you very much for having us on your... Oh. You guys, thank you for watching us. Yeah, and stuff. Is that it? It's really cool right now. There's also a lot of homoeroticism going on between the bands that are really popular in Winnipeg right now. It's fantastic. We have these parties where we just strip down to our underwear and feed each other grapes. Mm. All right, you're not allowed to do interviews Shut anymore. Shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> this stuff is edited. <laughs> Edit that. <laughs> it's just like every time the camera goes to Jeremy, go cut. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll just be like me going, 